Okay, this is somewhat of a video response to, and a thank you to, uh, I'm still working. Um, we had a problem with, at our new little farmhouse here, we had a problem with uh, storage space, and it's a very small house. It's like, very small. <coughs> This is one of the first of some shelves that we're making to uh, fit in our breezeway. Um, it'll have five shelves just like this, and it's all built on 2x4 and OSB with 2x4 and OSB. And I built it exactly like um, I'm still working her, her shelves. I was very impressed. We don't have the room to do all the little. Uh, leg you know the uh the little side l's on it and stuff like that but um let me show you where we're putting it this is our little bucket garden and uh this is a breezeway a room that's uh seven foot wide and um i think it's about i don't know maybe 14 feet long as you walk in this, uh, we got two deep freezes, of course, the well head's under there, and uh, the water softener, and we're probably going to go with an RO unit too, but um, we're going to put the shelf unit between this deep freeze, the corner of this deep freeze, and this door. Um, while I haven't measured exactly eight feet, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty close. Um, this corner that's going to be created here, there's, there's going to be a corner here of about, I don't know, let's call it, let's call it two feet, okay, exactly two feet. Now I have the option of shoving the, uh, shoving the, the, you know, the shelving unit up in there, or I can create two feet there and put two sets stack diagonally of five gallon buckets um, you know star wheat or whatever it's only seven foot tall in here so you know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to conserve it's seven foot but then it's on an angle see the angle there and on this side it's a uh, eight foot um, putting it on this side wasn't an option because we have to be able to get to the wellhead which is like I say down there um, so I guess what's going to happen here is uh, we're going to mount all our shelves right in here and I will lose about a foot of vertical space but what this shelving unit does I'm still working it man I don't know if she came up with this or if someone else came up with it and she just implemented it but uh, in a very small house it's going to give us 84 square feet um, of extra storage and in a in a 16 foot square or 16 square foot um, floor space we're going to get 84 square foot of storage space so uh, my hats off to you I'm still working and uh, I appreciate the heads up um, this is gunrunner 7271 making the conversion from suburbanite to farm guy there's the stable and barn so um of course i'm not that suburb i'm not that farm guy still got my bass boat <laughs> take care guys stay prepped we're gonna let you see this one it's all done um you know we're working on a little homestead here of our own so let me let you uh i'll keep you in mind as we go everything that was in the old place is now coming to the new little farmhouse and eventually we hope to have some pasture light have more pasture land as I do not like to mow and a, a uh, little uh, terrace garden raised bed terrace garden right there and uh, entertainment area and uh, storage for the boat and my workshop will get bigger thanks stay prep gun runner 727 okay guys this is it this is the uh, shelf storage space. Um, it's all complete. It's 
two foot wide or two foot deep, eight feet long, giving us uh, 16 square feet of storage area per shelf. Ember, or uh, I'm still working, had five on hers. Well, I couldn't do that and get it into my space because it's only seven foot tall, so we could only go with four. But uh, there's 17 inches of clearance in each self, shelf, with the exception of the top shelf. And uh, I put a little extra on that one. That way we can get creative in that spot right there. And then we can always store stuff on top. Okay, so this is my finished product. I'm not even going to bother painting it. Because it's 95 degrees today. Typical Ohio weather for pre-June. And... I uh, just want to get it in place so we can get our food stores moved to it and get moved in. Alright, so that's it. Again, my thanks are to I Am Still Working. Uh, yours look far better than mine, but mine are very functional. Alrighty, thank you. Bye. Okay, this is the final spot we're going to have that in. This is Gunrunner 7271 on the, the new homestead. Um, this is a breezeway between the house and the garage, i.e. my shop. And uh, there's 17 inches of clearance between each shelf with the exception of that shelf. A little more there. Um, these things will support, I don't know, 50, 60 pounds per square inch. Um, they're built double tough. Um, I had to cut a little short because, as you can see, the ceiling is sort of sloped here so only seven foot on this side so that kind of made my shelving spacing a little jacked up I didn't realize that when I was ordering all my wood so uh, we're gonna make the best of it make the best we can out of it I think uh, let's check make sure we can get in this door to the garage oh how about that opens right up okay so Guys, we still got a lot of cleanup to do on this job. Um, one room at a time. We uh, had so much food storage that we had to increase our food storage space. We've done that with the with the addition of a deep freeze that is absolutely packed full. And uh, another deep freeze that will be packed full come tomorrow we ordered a side of beef so um, as we get the place cleaned up you know the place is in kind of rough condition when we got it so as we get the place cleaned up you guys will see the full tour um, got us a little garden bucket here or bucket garden here sorry <sighs> I kind of had to move them in from the shade into the shade because they were uh, wilting out in the heat, in the 95 degree heat. So we got uh, everything we need for entertainment. We got a picnic table, four chairs. The little, the little thing on wheels over here is pretty cool. It's what I keep my uh, wood in that I'm going to carry into the wood stove that's in the garage. And I also keep my charcoal in there. And I also keep my wood, uh, my plood logs you know the uh, light the bag on fire and it starts itself we got a charcoal grill we'll have a propane grill as well um, I'm not a big fan of propane I'm an old-school charcoal man but you know when you got kids you gotta have propane you gotta get done fast so we got uh, a little backyard gear here piece this is a little accessory piece for our entertainment um, it has a cutting board and several little uh, things inside that that tend to uh, aid in prepping vegetables and prepping meat and whatnot. And you can scrub it down and get it good and clean. It holds all your utensils. And um, it's got a little thing that pops out here on the side. It's pretty nice. Um, cue that up. Um, so... Hey, it's my mom calling. Gotta go, guys. Stay prepped, alright?